Now, Marsha Light, you're welcome. So, if you deal with these folks throughout the year, please mention thank you for supporting the car show, the, the Camaro Nationals. Thank you for being a part of it. I know it may seem weird when you do it on the phone, but as a vendor myself, it is always nice to hear that something positive and not some, somebody complaining about something. So. Um, now, uh, we'd like to give a hand to all the judges and staff for this event, the unsung heroes working while we're all having a good time, or while well, you're all having a good time, because I'm one of those people. In the sun, and the rain, the drought, the wind, and the humidity, the show must continue once it's put into gear. Some, like George Warner and Billy McKee, barely get to see the show because they're always running around looking for fires to put out, or running from fires that they still have to put out. So uh, next, uh, let's get moving with the awards. There will be best ofs, there will be distance and other special awards at the end, so stick around for that. We do not mail awards. So if the name is announced and it's part of your club, uh, we ask that you try to claim it on their behalf. So before we get too deep into the reading names, there is a very special award we have this year. Uh, there is a Camaro Legends presented a plaque to Donna Crispino of the International Camaro Club, which is truly the basis of the inspiration of what would become this event, the Camaro Nationals. Now, uh, the inscription reads, Camaro Legends recognizes Donna M. Crispino for her dedication and contributions to the Camaro hobby. Donna's dedication and work with the International Camaro Club and the Camaro Street Nationals East began at the dawn of the newly fledged Camaro hobby and became the foundation of the Camaro Legends Concourse Judging Program. Donna also built a knowledge base of Camaro pace cars and authored the official Chevrolet pace car book. So thank you from the entire Camaro hobby, Donna. We appreciate you. Now, on to the award. She had a special award in memory of her grandfather, Crystal Scholastico. So hi, hello everyone. So I am Crystal, and I've been coming to the Camaro Nationals for about 20 years. My grandfather is the main sole reason that I have grown up to love Camaros, and as a child I wanted to be a judge, and I was walking around saying, that's a big block, that's a small block, just surprising everyone. Um, this year, Every year since we passed in 2019, we have done a Bud's Pick Award. Uh, me and my grandmother go out throughout the show field and pick a car that we think he would like best. And this year, we picked car 168, Mark Vallejo. Are you still here? Yes. Yeah. And now for another special presentation, Scott Settlemeyer. Thank you, everybody. On behalf of the men and women at General Motors and Chevrolet Motor Division, I thank every one of you for the passion that you've got for Camaro. Can I have the judges, I'm sorry, the, the, if everybody would sit down so that I could have the volunteers stand up and we can recognize them. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway. So, my first one is the F. Godfather's pick. And it goes to Beth McCarty of Death of Eastern PA for a 2012 Military Police and First Responders Camaro. Now, I got a lot of letters when I was working for General Motors. But this one, you may want to get a Kleenex out. It got an April of 2010. It says, Dear Mr. Settlement, I appreciate how you share your thoughts regarding the new Camaro. Your pride in your career and the Camaro shines through your words. I'd like to tell you about the car, what the car meant that you built for my son. When he and I went to see the Transformers movie for the first time, 
He fell in love with Bumblebee and marveled at what an incredible car it was. I too fell in love with the Camaro and instantly, and on the way home from the movie, we talked about what it would like to be happy to have one. I told him that someday, if we could, we would buy one, and when the, came, the time came for him to drive, it would be his. I got my order in last April, and it arrived in late June of last year. My son Dawson was so excited, and every day, rain or shine, he'd ask if we could go for a quick ride. He couldn't see much from the back seat, but he, I could see his face lit up in the rearview mirror. In October, he helped me prepare for winter storage, and as I disconnected the battery, it fell asleep, and we looked at each other like, what just happened? Lying with him in bed that night, we talked about it and surprised both of us to know we were both on the verge of tears. Every week or so, we'd go out and check on it just to make sure it was safe, and we walked, we talked through the winter months about our first cruise of the spring and how much fun that would be. My son Dawson passed away in mid-February from a stroke sur suffered after surgery to remove a brain tumor. He was only eight years old. Every week or so we'd go out. In the weeks that passed, I would check on his sleeping canal, but my excitement over our first cruise was now gone. Instead, I looked at the car and wondered how I would ever drive it again. At one point, I almost decided to sell it. I almost decided to sell it. In late March, I pulled the cover up and installed the battery and felt a shiver as the interior lights came on. I was nervous turning the key to start it, but it only cranked for a second before it fired, and the sound of the engine filled the garage. While the sound and smell excited me, I cried and cried that my boy wasn't there to see it come to life. But I did fulfill my promise to Dawson. I took his ashes, wrapped them in his favorite blanket, buckled him into the front seat, and he and I cruised around for a while. He loved music, especially rock and ABCD. ACDC in particular, that when we came to riding in the car, the stereo was always off. He and I listened to what we called the music of the car. I will keep the car and have it ordered with a vanity plate in his memory, and from time to time, I will take him out for a cruise on a warm summer evening, remembering his beaming face in the rear view mirror, and the excited, nervous giggles from the back seat when I punched the gas in the lower gear. I want to thank you for the special moments that car brought to my son, he was always telling others how his daddy drove the 2010 Camaro and someday it would be his. Like I said, I can tell how proud you are and I want you to know the joy your hard work brought to a little boy for even such a short time. Thank you, Mike Ellen. So I would like to present this to Mr. Rico Contendo from Land Ridge, Michigan, 2013 2SS convertible in yellow. And again, I thank you all for coming out. And I thank you to wear your seatbelts. We put them in your clothing.